guys, this is going to be the extra credit, but not really, toy problem for um, week five. So this is the second one that I'm posting. I've got a special guest here, my son, Frederick. Wave hello. Hi. Um, so, uh, before I get into the problem for this week, uh, just a quick shout out to three people in particular. Um, one person, one of my students got it exactly correct from last week and two people were very close. So Nicholas from my fourth period and Alex from my first period, congratulations. You were both very, very close to solving the first problem. And Tanner Baxter from my third period got it exactly correct. So very well done, Tanner. Congratulations. Um, the problem from last week was a question about like we had like a trillion coins or something and one of the coins was heavier than all the others um and we had a scale and the question was how do you find the one coin that is heavier than all the others i gave you one example of how to do it pull one coin on one side of the scale and put all the other ones one at a time on the opposite to see which one was heavier uh, i said that was the most inefficient way there were two other ways that i knew of how to do it um and Nicholas and Alex had some variation of these. Um, but one of the ways that you could have done this is two at a time. Uh, so basically you split it in half and you take one coin uh, from each half pile and put it on the scale and see if they weigh the same. If they do, you cast them off. That would cut the time in half compared to the first example. But overall... The most efficient way to do this problem um, was the way that Tanner suggested, and that was uh, by putting both halves of the scale, both. so you take the coins, you divide them in half, and you put them on one side of the scale. So there's a half a coin, half the coins here, half the coins here. And then one of those piles bless you, is going to be heavier than the other because there's going to be one coin that's heavier. You take the pile that is heavier, oh no, sorry, you take the pile that's lighter and get rid of all of those coins. Bless you. That way you've eliminated half of the coins already. You take the remaining pile, split it in half, and do the exact same thing. Uh, the only trick for this one is what happens if there's an odd number of coins. Because then you can't balance them evenly, right? Well, if that's the case, you take one coin aside and balance the rest. Um, if that one coin is the heavy one, the balance is going to be even and you've discovered your coin. If it's not, one of the sides is going to be heavier and that heavier side is going to contain that coin. So it being odd doesn't really affect it at all. Okay, for the next problem, we are going to stick with the theme of coins and we're going to ask about probability. I'm going to give you... Uh, three different scenarios and I'm gonna ask you which one is more likely to happen so what are the chance I'm not asking you to calculate the actual chances but what is more which of the three examples I'm about to give are more likely example one you flip a coin four times and you flip a coin four times and you get two heads and two tails. So it's cut exactly in half. You flip a coin ten times and you get five coins, five heads, and five tails. That's the second scenario. And third scenario, you flip a coin a hundred times and you get fifty heads and fifty tails. Which is the most likely? So in all the scenarios, you're going to have equal parts heads and equal parts tails. Okay? Is getting that exact 50% heads and tails, is that more likely if you flip a coin four times, if you flip a coin ten times, or if you flip a coin a hundred times? Um, I'm not just looking for an answer. I'm also looking for the logic behind it. So if you post a an answer please make sure that you are or don't post it email it to me let's keep this you know hush hush um if you email me an answer make sure you're giving me the logic behind your answer because i'm not just looking for the answer i'm also looking for the logic so 
Um, go ahead and think about that. Maybe flip a coin a few times and you know, see if it's more likely to get 10 than um, with the 10 or the 4 or the 100. So feel free to go ahead and do that. Um, I mean, you got tons of time. What can I say? I'm just kidding. I know you're all working hard. Um, I hope everybody has a really, really great weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you later.